Hi, this is Clint Cora. Today I'm going to do a video review of the Magic Mesh, which is an interesting alternative to a patio screen door or a doggy door. It uses a series of magnets to automatically close up the screen for hands-free operation. There are some things I really like about the Magic Mesh. First of all, the cost. It's not very expensive. I bought mine for about $20. And then when it does work really well, it keeps the bugs out for hands-free operation and it gives my dogs in and out access. And the initial installation was fairly straightforward and easy. Now here's the patio doorway that I want to install the magic mesh on. Now, unlike on their TV commercials, I found that it was rather challenging to properly fit the Magic Mesh to this opening. First of all, ideally, they want you to install this on the inside rather than the outside. Well, as you can see over here on the left-hand side, I do have a wooden frame that comes down plus the wooden frame across the top. So I would have no problems installing the Magic Mesh there. but on the right side here, I don't have a wooden frame, at least where the opening is, because there's a sliding glass door. So I'm already losing one side. So in this case, in my case, I had no choice but to install the magic mesh on the outside. So let's go outside and have a look. Okay, so here we are on the outside. Now the magic mesh uses some double-sided sticky Velcro scripts, like the one up here and they don't work so well on the outside because the exterior doesn't have wooden frames but it has metal frames and glass and I found that these Velcro strips are just awful. So basically you can see that what I've tried to do is attach it to the outside but it, it was a challenge to attach it to the metal frame. Now over here on this side I don't even have a frame along the, the bottom or on the side because it's all glass so it's barely holding on on this side here. I finally had to use these large document clips to supplement the Velcro strips like so. And so far these are working. You can see I've got one up in the corner. Another one up there. Now I found that these magnets just will not close up properly if the magic mesh is too long. And in my case, it was too long. So I had to use some smaller clips at the bottom that you can see there to basically keep the magic mesh rolled up a little bit. It's not ideal as you can see there are some gaps, but fortunately no bugs have been passing through yet. When there's a bit of a breeze out there, when the wind is blowing, the magnets will just not close up. So I found that to be a pretty bad flaw. Now my overall assessment of the Magic Mesh is it's not a bad product for the price for 20 to 25 dollars. It's pretty good but it's not great. There are some obvious flaws and my feeling is if you're willing to spend 20 to 25 dollars to test the Magic Mesh out for the summer then by all means try it. That's what we're doing. But when a better quality product comes out on the market even for a higher price, I think that's what I'm going to move towards. Thanks for watching.